when Group SNE first announced Sword World RPG, they weren't sure if this new game would be called Tabletop RPG or Sword World RPG. RPGs were not well established at the time, and they were unsure of how far they could go. The publication format of the paperback and the policy of not only supporting scenarios, rules, and supplements, but also novels and other reading materials made it quite a venture. Fortunately, it proved a big success. Sword World RPG became the most popular TTRPG in Japan. The Sword World RPG rulebook, released in April of 1989, was designed for adventurers at levels 1 to 5 and didn't include data on stronger monsters or spells of level 6 or higher. The system prioritized creating a narrative and avoiding complicated action checks, same as later editions of the game. The book provided an introduction to the basic style of adventures using the Sword World RPG system, which involved exploring ruins to obtain treasures. Miyuki Kayamatsu of Group SNE designed the basic system, with development done by all group members, including supervisor of the project Hitoshi Yusuda. The game's popularity grew, and in July 1990, the advanced rules for the game were released as Sword World RPG Volume 1, Additional Rules and Magic, as well as Advanced Rules for Sword World RPG Volume 2, Additional Monsters. They also included information about levels 6 through 10. Multiple scenario collections were also released during the first 10 years, along with replays and novels. These materials served a dual purpose, also showcasing various locations within the Alacrast continent. In 1993, the Sword World RPG World Guide was published, which provided players with a detailed guide about the Alacrast continent. In collaboration with TNE Soft, several video games were released. The first two, Sword World PC and Sword World SFC, were very similar, telling a story based on the novel The Island of the Dead Gods by Keiko Shimomura and Hitoshi Yasuda. Meanwhile, SFC 2 was based on The Road of the Free Men by Iai Shirai and Hitoshi Yasuda. In December 1996, Sword World RPG Complete Edition was released. The writing process for the Complete Edition took much longer than expected. While the simplicity of the rules remained a key feature of Sword World RPG, the volume of rules increased by about one and a half times. This was due to the inclusion of additional data that appeared in various novels, scenarios, and additional materials from Dragon Magazine. In that same month, the Western Country's World Guide, written by Hiroshi Yamamoto, was also released. It included various ideas submitted by readers of the Dragon magazine. In November 1998, Lodos and Sword World RPG collided, and as a result, the Lodos Island World Guide was released as a collaboration between Ryo Mizuno and Miyuki Kayamatsu. Writing the guide was challenging for Kayamatsu, who had to read through multiple books on Lodos and tackle other tricky issues. In addition to supplemental books, Group SNE also released many replays and novels. These enjoyed a lot of popularity due to the existence of Sword World RPG, even if they are not present on this map. In 1997, Sword World RPG was one of the leading games in the Japanese role-playing game market. However, the market shifted to a more profitable model with the introduction of trading card games, TCGs, like Moncall. Moncall sold at a tremendous rate and quickly surpassed the amount of money made by record of the Lodos War and Sword World RPG, generating considerable profits not only for Fujimi Shobo but also for Katakawa Shoten as a whole. During this shift, RPG struggled to remain relevant. Although Akita Miyabi's new Sword World RPG replay series, aka Hepikosu, was a smash hit, Katakawa Shoten had already shifted its focus to light novels and anime media mixes rather than games. All magazines supporting RPGs disappeared, and RPG Magazine was replaced by the TCG Magazine Game Gather. The only magazine that supported RPGs at that time was Gamers Field. In 2002, Group SNE attempted to publish RPG articles in Gamers Field, but Fear President Junichiro Nakajima was hesitant since Gamers Field was a PR magazine for Fear fans. However, Hiromi Mayano, who had served as editor-in-chief of another two popular magazines, was now vice president of Arclight, and he suggested starting an RPG magazine if SNE provided a staff member. Keiji Korea, co-writer of Mermaid Rain and director of the Game Market Office, was chosen to lead the project. The first issue of Roll and Roll was published by Shin Kajensha in May 2003. In the early 2000s, Group SNE focused mainly on replays and novels for Sword World RPG. In September 2002, Sword World Card RPG was released. 
This was an early version of what would become starter boxes in versions 2.0 and 2.5. Card RPG was a tool for playing Sword World using cards, making it easier for people who had never played a TRPG before to get into it. However, between 2004 and 2006, Group SNE also released several supplements for the Sword World RPG. It all started in April 2004 when Sword World RPG Basic, a new player-friendly version of the rules, was released, coinciding with the 15th anniversary of Sword World RPG. Following this, for tour books detailing different cities, additional rules with scenarios for each city, and two supplemental lore books were also released. But even still, in the mid-2000s, RPGs continued to struggle. Many of Group SNE's RPGs did not sell well, and even RPG-related products such as Sword World RPG replays received a middling amount of recognition. To break out of this sense of stagnation, Group SNE launched several revival projects in 2008, including a big new release in celebration of Sword World's 20th anniversary called Sword World 2.0.